Hello, my name is Anne-Marie Schmidt. I'm from New York University in New York. And my presentation focused on the biology of the receptor for advanced glycation end products, or RAGE, and how RAGE may be involved in the pathogenesis of vascular diseases. In the presentation, I showed how in atherosclerotic mice, that if you delete the receptor for advanced glycation end products, that this results in a significant protection in the mice from the development of atherosclerosis, particularly when the mice have diabetes. I also showed very um, intriguing data to us in which macrophages, which are deleted, that do not express rage, how these macrophages appear to be able to transport and export cholesterol to a greater and more effective way. This is important because cholesterol enrichment in the macrophages is an important contributor to the early um, mechanisms that induce atherosclerosis. I also showed in the presentation very new insights into how the rage mechanism may be involved in the development of obesity. We showed that rage is expressed in adipocytes or fat cells and that the deletion of rage, particularly in adipocytes, protects mice that are fed a high fat diet from the development of obesity. And the way this works is that the deletion of the rage increases energy expenditure in the mice. Therefore, even though they're eating the same amounts of food as the controls, they increase their energy expenditure on the high fat diet and are protected from obesity. Finally, I showed in the presentation how a binding partner of RAGE that helps RAGE to signal, called DIAF1, is also important in atherosclerosis. I showed that when atherosclerotic prone mice have deletion of this molecule, called DIAF1, that there is a significant reduction in atherosclerosis in the animals. And very excitingly, what we found is that levels of cholesterol and triglyceride in these mice devoid of DIF1 are lower, suggesting that the DIF1 mechanism contributes to the development of high levels of cholesterol and triglyceride. And lastly, I showed that an important aspect of our laboratory's work is the development of inhibitors that block the interaction of rage DIF1. Preliminary work shows that these small molecules block the induction of vascular inflammation when rage ligands are injected into mice, and it is our hope and expectation that these small molecules may lay the foundation for the development of a new class of inhibitors for protection in cardiovascular diseases. Thank you.